My fellow car enthusiasts, welcome back! I am Alex the Car Guy and on this channel I review cool car gadgets and other accessories that I find for your car. So if that is the kind of videos you like, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. And on this video I'm gonna be reviewing the AutoCast wireless CarPlay adapter. Now I like CarPlay and I love Android Auto, but one thing that really annoys me is having to connect my phone to the car every time I want to use that functionality. And AutoCast claims that this wireless adapter eliminates the need to connect your phone to the car and still get the entire functionality of CarPlay. And as always, I have placed a link in the description down below if you want to look at this adapter further. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we have a user manual and I looked through, uh, at this, now, there's not that much in here except how to pair your phone to, you, to the device. So this is good, it means we don't have to cut wires, we don't have to remove panels. Well, let's look at the device itself. Huh, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, it's quite thin too and it's very lightweight and you can see how small it is. It really fits on the palm of my hand with a USB-C port on one side and a regular USB port on the other. These are two LED indicators that will show us the status of the adapter. Now there's another uh, goodie bag or goodie box in here. Let's see what's in here. And this is what's inside of that little box. There's a tiny USB cable and there is a little USB to USB-C port. If for some reason your car only had C port, you could use this to connect this to your car. But this is how most of the cars are gonna connect to the adapter using this tiny cable which is gonna plug into the USB port right here. And then this is gonna go to the car and then we are able to make the wireless connection to our phone. So let's move over to the car and test out its functionality. I first connected the AutoCast U2 now to the USB port of my car. Then I just follow the prompts. Here the answer is always enable. Now I make sure that both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled and then I pair my phone to the AutoCast. And finally on my phone I confirm use CarPlay. And that is it, now the magic happens. So now that we got the phone hooked up, this thing is up and running and I am just shocked how easy it was to get this running and how, I mean, how is this? No wire, it's completely wirelessly. Now let's look at the actual responsiveness of the system. I go here, that's the main screen. Go back, go to the overview screen. Go back over here, more over here. I mean, this is, this is snappy, look at this. Whoo! Again, totally, totally wirelessly. I am just, I'm really, really surprised. Let's look at the maps. Let's go over here and kind of zoom in and zoom out. Let's see. So, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Very, very, again, entirely wirelessly. We are in California and look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> right, now let's look for a destination. Where do we want to go? Let's go to, how about directions to, Where would you like to go? directions to Disneyland. There it is, Disneyland Park. We are set. <laughs> you know, it amazes me that this stuff like this exists. And, and, and as simple as it is in terms that we did not have to jailbreak our car, we did not have to, you know, do any kind of weird modification. We literally plug the AutoCast adapter and we are rock and, rock, rock and rolling. This, is, this really works as advertised, which is really, really cool. But what about the phone? I know one of the main things that makes a CarPlay attractive is that we can still use our phone. So let's look up here and see if I can still use my phone. I'm definitely able to use it. But how about this right here? Let's see what this video looks like. Okay. Well, we'll skip the ad. And what do you know? A review for headlights. <laughs> That's my own video. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty neat that we are still able to use the completely our phone and still use the CarPlay. It, it really mind blow it blows my mind how how much power these iPhones 
have now these days and a little device like this can take the iPhone to a whole new level. So let's make a phone call and see how the phone quality is. I'll go to the phone and what do you know, I'm gonna call Alex the car guy. <laughs> which, which is your favorite dash cam so far? My favorite dash cam is the Japanese wolf something something. Uh, <laughs> I, <forgot what> I. <laughs> I hooked him up with the dash cam. So that's his favorite dash cam. Yeah, I mean, the quality is, uh, is pretty good. I mean, it's probably the, depending on the reception of how much you have around your area. Uh, but I mean, it's just very, very snappy. It, I am actually uh, really, really uh, impressed with this thing. Now everything else remains the same as normal CarPlay. You can ch still change all the settings that you typically can. You can still access your music. You can uh, access the different apps that are related to CarPlay. You can see your calendars. You can use Zoom on here. So just a, a trim, it gives you the access that you normally have when you are tied to a wire, but now your phone is completely hands-free. Now the device itself does have its own setup menu and as you saw we use it to pair the initial phone but what you can use this menu for is if you had multiple phones connected to the device you can select what phone is the one you want to have drive the carplay interface and you have a couple of additional advanced features if i hit the settings we can clear the devices that have been paired we can change the languages if we wanted to obviously there's a lot of languages in here that i don't know how to speak so we'll go back to English. Well, I know Espanol. Almost there. Here we go, we're back on here. And we can also select whether we want the phone to auto-connect every time we come back to the car. We can uncheck that and it won't auto-connect. But I like to keep it on, it just makes it a little bit more convenient. That's pretty neat. I like that they kept the simple, uh, the menu very simple and pretty straightforward. And if for some reason you wanted to add a new phone at any point in the future, you would just hit the search. The device will look for new devices that are around and you can select and pair them through the same way we did with the first phone. So if you guys have any questions regarding the AutoCast U2 Now adapter, please leave that in the comments down below. Remember, I put a link in the description if you want to get this adapter for yourself fairly inexpensive. If you found any part of this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. And I have a lot more cool gadgets and reviews coming up. So make sure you guys stay tuned so you get to see those videos. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.